this lesson, we are going to learn about Stream Field. Stream Field is Wagtail's feature that allows you to structure your content and enables you to have more control over it. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have two examples. On the left side is an example of classical content. Usually, you add a field to your model, in this case field's name is paragraph, and then you add content to it. You add content by editing it in some sort of rich text widget. This is also known as what you see is what you get editor. The text result of typing in that what you see is what you get editor is a bunch of HTML tags. There's nothing wrong with this approach. It is just one way to think of content management. The other way to see the content, which is illustrated here on the right side, is to see it as a series of blocks. So instead of defining one rich text paragraph field like here, we define, let's say, four types of so-called blocks and the content page might be composed of many of those blocks in any order. All this is really great and it is a good to have a structure after all. Why would you need to bother with all this structured thingy at all? Let me give you two examples where structural approach might be very useful. Think of a blog where some articles are for premium users only. With classical approach, the only way to do it is to lock the entire article. So users which are not premium can read the title, first couple of sentences and maybe last ones and that's it. On the other hand, with structural approach, you can select to lock only some parts of the article. Let's say one video, one code snippet and two paragraphs. You may opt that all image blocks will be visible to everybody. This approach gives not premium users to have a better idea of what they are missing. This approach has a huge advantage that Google will have more information about partially locked articles. Another example will be a template for an event. With classical approach, content editors have no other options but to arrange content for each and every event on their own. With structural approach, on the other hand, you can provide a template for an event, say start date, end date, description and an image. In this case, content editors will only have to fill in blocks with missing information. Now that context is clear, let's see stream field in action. I have here a very simple model. This model contains only one field, body. This is a classical way. If I want to add a new lesson with this body field, which is a rich text field, I will edit it with what you see is what we get editor. We explored this in previous lesson. Here I added a stream field and this stream field contains five different blocks. Two of them are rich text block. One is for everybody and other is so-called premium paragraph. Then I have an image and then I have two embed blocks. One is premium and another is for everybody. And then I added this content stream field to the content panel here. Let me run now migrations. The template part is fairly easy. I basically will loop through the page content field and include uh, each and every block. And that's it. And now in Wagtails admin, I can add a new lesson. And this here is a stream field. We can add one of multiple blocks. So you see now the image and then I can add, let's say a paragraph, which is a, a, which is a rich text editor. And afterwards I'll add, let's say a premium paragraph. And in the end I will add a video. Let's preview this lesson. 
Mm, you see, uh, here is a lesson title, description, the paragraphs, and the embedded video. That's pretty cool. I want to add one more image. And now I just realized that I want this image to be between these two paragraphs. To move it from here to here, to move it from this place up, I'll just need to click on this move up arrow. You see, it moves. And let's say I want to delete one paragraph, this one, I'll just, yeah, press this uh, delete button. Let me preview again. So image, paragraph, and the video. Pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.